people in luminous clothing. <laughs> oh, brilliant, look at that. I was talking to the people over there, and a woman, well done, madam, a woman down the front, not even wearing luminous clothing. <laughs> she just went, wonderful! <laughs> Which is mad because there's nothing even vaguely luminous about your outfit there this evening, which leads me to believe that underneath there you've got some saucy luminous. <laughs> That's what I like to see. It's, just, it's a treat for your fella later on. Just kind of illuminate with uh, maybe just a strip up the back there, just a, a, a reflective strip there. The, uh, have you had some kind of horrible health and safety sexual mishap in the bedroom? <laughs> He just turned up one evening, I've got you some saucy, saucy underwear for you. Hey! And, uh, maybe they were silky and you slipped off the bed and he ended up on the bed knob, something like that. I don't know. He <laughs> that was great. Half of you went, ha ha ha! went, oh. <laughs> the, um, the idea of her husband impaled with a bed knob up his arse. No, let's not. It's, it's the Hay Festival, Ross. Don't start the show with a bloke impaled on a bed knob at the end of the bed. The, um, you could spin him. You could spin him. <laughs> imagine, the, imagine the possibilities for you. And he's just there going, I'm not doing that. It's a bloody nightmare. She comes in with a sexy slidey pants on. Next thing you know, fumf, I'm impaled on the end of the bed and she's spinning me like she works on the waltzers. <laughs> Inviting the neighbours round to have a look. Look at him impaled on the bed over there, spinning him repeatedly. And then from now on, you forced her. The bed's coned off there. You've got a non-slip mat at the side of the bed. You've insisted that she wears luminous underwear, luminous bra, and every time you make love, there's this noise. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Beep. Which is always fun. The <laughs> oh, thank God you uploaded that. Because <laughs> I had this image I was going to walk out and it was just going to be people in tweed all sat there like that. <laughs> is Richard Dawkins here this evening? Is he, is he going to talk about Jesus and that? The, um, that's, I've broken, <laughs> I've broken his, his act down, haven't I? <laughs> He's welcome, Richard Dawkins. He doesn't even stop, he just runs across there. He just, he just goes, Jesus is bollocks! <laughs> the, uh, be great, isn't it? The, um, the... <laughs> that's the time to turn up late, imagine that. Me just, just running across there. Like, Jesus is bollocks! <laughs> I just shout out different body parts of messiahs. The... <laughs> Let's make that the whole show tonight. I'll, I'll just run backwards and forwards. Hang on, here we go. Allah's <laughs> armpits. <laughs> the... The... Some of you are not laughing at that, are you? <laughs> no, no. Don't do that. Don't hit them. <laughs> We don't mind you talking about men landing on bed, no, that's fine. <laughs> don't take the piss out of Allah. OK, the, um... No, I think we're fine. The, uh... But anyway, you're very, you're very welcome there. What was your name there, my luminous friend? Mark. What, Mark? Mark. Oh, God, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ! A, a, a woman in luminous underwear who's recently had a sex change. <laughs> My name's Mark. The, uh, sorry, Mark, I can't hear you quite a long... Can you hear quite a long way away? You're not. You're just there. I didn't hear you properly. The, uh, oh, look at that. As I talk to you there, one of the people in the luminous... Uh, one of the, the luminous waistcoats just undid it there. As if you go, I'm going to get casual for tonight. The, uh, it's great, isn't it? I love the way that they've obviously said to you, Lord, just blend in. And then, You've got full reflective so far. No, he'll never see us. He'll never see us. It, it'll be fine. Maybe there's more of you, but they're better at hiding. I don't know. Anyway, the um, health and safety gone mad, for goodness sake. I can understand you guarding that exit there, and I can understand two either side of that exit, but you, you're just standing as just a metal pillar, for fuck's sake. <laughs> not, I can't help feeling the gig had sold out and you went, give us one of them luminous outfits. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's going to backfire on you, cos he'll be shagging you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll be impaled on a bed knob, <laughs> getting spun like the fair's about to close. <laughs> scream if you want to go faster! Scream if you want to go... I was screaming anyway! <laughs> this bed 
know, let's hope you've got a sturdy, probably attending the hair festival, you've probably got sturdy oak furniture, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, none of that Ikea shit. If you had Ikea, you just poof on the end, what, poof, straight off on it. Uh, big thanks to Ikea for providing us with the set here this evening. They've spent their money on that, haven't they? <laughs> they've, just, they've obviously spent, they need a like, recession and everything. They've just gone, let's have a big fancy set and we'll put it on. They've gone, nah, fuck it. Just get half a wardrobe and a curtain. That'll do it. <laughs> just, <laughs> or perhaps this is, this is hey festival. Let's have conceptual deck chairs. <laughs> what you can't see is if that comes down there, there's an old man sat like that behind. <laughs> he's just got a knitted hanky. A knitted hanky? <laughs> Not a hanky is the tradition. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I've got TB. Um, oh, yeah, laugh it up, bitches. That's all right. I've got TB. <laughs> He's got TB. Brilliant. <laughs> what other illnesses could he have this evening? The, um, anyway, it's very nice. So, um, what is the knit? Oh, she's on the move over there. She's on the move. Oh, she's switched positions. <laughs> Oh, I see someone. I'm not shagging him. I'm not shagging him. <laughs> I draw the line. I'm, I simply won't do it. You stand over there. Now it's some bloke standing over <laughs> You've not landed on your feet tonight. <laughs> anyway, you've never landed on your feet, hence the bed. Anyway, the, it's just filth. It's just pure filth. Anyway, no, it is nice to be here. I don't do many gigs on carpeted stages, it has to be said. It's very nice. I'm slightly fearful of sliding for, for fear of carpet burns. Well done down there. Just a tip for you, if you are going to take a cheeky photograph, just bear in mind the camera does have a big fuck-off flashing light on the front. <laughs> Might, what are you shaking your head as if to go, no, I wasn't taking a photograph. What, have you brought a theodolite? <laughs> have you, have you just... <laughs> this, that doesn't look straight. It doesn't look straight. Got that all wrong over there. Um, uh, um. <laughs> Is that music? <laughs> Am I being heckled by a band? <laughs> it is a bit muffled. Is it just uh, what the fuck? Has the, has the disco started? That's not good. I'm a very rhythmical man. That's going on all the way through. The I'm going to be walking around like this for the rest. <laughs> Much like you, mate. <laughs> Anyway, the... Uh, it is great. What the fuck? What is it called? The Barclays Pavilion of Wealth. <laughs> really? <laughs> Looks like a big tent to me. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a tent. It's a pavilion. Just a normal pavilion. No! A pavilion of wealth. <laughs> Are you all loaded now? When you first came in, you are just skint, and you walk into the Barclays Pavilion of Wealth. Are you all just throw away those pants? Big golden pants on. <laughs> no need for luminous clothing. I am in the pavilion of wealth. <laughs> Fucking pavilion of wealth. Yeah! <laughs> for that. Somebody selling the socialist worker down there. Yeah! Pavilion of wealth. Let's burn it down. Burn it down! <laughs> the, uh, what is the slogan? Well, there was a, I saw the point. Did anyone... You lot have got no idea. Look at that. <laughs> You all went, <laughs> oh, fuck, he's talking to us. <laughs> you are here to see me, are you? Not just come for the conceptual deck chairs. <laughs> are you all sat there going, could you hurry up and finish, please, Ross? We want to sit down on there and sun ourselves. <laughs> the, uh, what was it? Well, what, not well through, what, anyone? Are you all right there? You've just hung your head like that. <laughs> Did you come up with the slogan? She just went, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Taking the piss out of something that's excellently corporate. <laughs> the, um, you know what? It's uh, the wealth begins with knowledge. That's the slogan on the. Have you not just arrived? <laughs> you couldn't give a shit about the festival, could you? Who's gone? Oh, Ross is on. Oh, we're going to have to put up with them arty types. <laughs> the, um, yeah, knowledge begins. What's going on in here? Look at you lot staring at me. It's <laughs> I 
Alex, what is up? Are you all right, mate, down there? <laughs> just a tip, you are on the front row. I can't see you chatting. The, um, he just, he just, um, I don't know what he's talking about. I've got, got no idea. The no, help me out, mate. Oh, look, it's what? It's Lloyd Bank. Oh, Lloyd just sponsored it. This isn't Barclays at all. <laughs> I made a terrible error. Oh, I do apologize. Is that what it is? It wasn't the shitty slogan. You're just sat there going, he's got the wrong bank. <laughs> it's an idiot. Oh, is it? I'm sure it was Barclays when I walked in. <laughs> oh, it is yes, Barclays! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> oh, thanks for helping me out as well. Look at you lot. Don't get involved. <laughs> Let him think it's Lloyd's. That fella seems confident. <laughs> You do work for Lloyds, and he just went, I reckon we can hijack the publicity. Yeah. <laughs> this could work out very nicely. Do you work in market and you've just got like a list of products? I'm gonna try and advertise these during Ross's gig. Um, I think find it's the, the, the Lloyds Pavilion of Wealth. It's the, um, it's the Rolo Marquis of Justice. <laughs> it's the fairy liquid tent of desire. <laughs> it's the... <laughs> The tent of desire, good for you too, down there. Oh, we're in the tent of desire. Put your luminous kegs on, love. It's time for love. <laughs> the, uh, where did you get a lot? Are you all right? It's, oh, oh, you're just wiping away the tears of laughter. Oh, thank God, I just woman down the front like this. <laughs> did you see an African mask you like the look of? You just went, I don't know if it would suit me. An African, would an African mask suit me? What do you reckon? What do you think? I don't know. Yes, but it would, it's very, it's, it's ethnic, isn't it? It's very ethnic. What do you reckon? African mask. Try it to the left. <laughs> no, just look pissed. The, um, <laughs> no, wipe away. Use that uh, lovely scarf you've got on there. It's, uh, is it chiffon, that is it? Was it? Is it? I love the fact that you lot, you just literally, I ask you just a general question and you look at me like it's a trick. <laughs> Why would he want to know? <laughs> I think the only reason he's come is to steal our fine fabrics. <laughs> I'm just getting to know you. The, um, I can just see faces on the front row, just like that, just going... <laughs> Sorry, I'll get back to you in a minute. Don't worry about that. The, um, the, the <laughs> Please don't! Oh, well, that's friendly! I dragged my ass all the way to fucking last of the summer wine or wherever we are. I turn up in some bloody wigwam of dreams. Whatever it is. I can't come to get annoyed. I stand before you in this weird gates of Troy built by kids. <laughs> oh, the African mask's back on. <laughs> anyway, the... <laughs> What's going on over there? Two people are standing by the wall, but they are clearly unluminized. <laughs> hey, don't, have you not got a seat? There's some here. There's two over there. Come on. Honestly, I'm not pissing about. Honestly, this, we'll go that way. You don't have to walk across the front of this. Look at her running. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Is it me? Am I an intimidating man? This is better. He's, uh, he's offering me a seat. Run! Run for your life! Ah, 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 ah. Jesus is bollocks. Ah. <laughs> what? It's just ridiculous. Tend to be as words now. <laughs> Is it wealth starts with knowledge? Bullshit! Anyway, not do that. If you're a Barclays or Lloyd's, if you're confused. <laughs> if you're a Barclays customer, use their slogan against them. Knowledge begins, wealth begins with knowledge. Just walk into the bank and go, you know, I've got a massive overdraft, right? Well, did you know that the giant squid is 60 foot long? <laughs> A little bit of knowledge for you. Don't send me any more letters. <laughs> just... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that 
that'll work. The, uh, oh, no, you're off now. You're right. You're, you're fantastic. Are you all mates down the front here? Are you all? I thought so. There's a collective little. Every now and again, you go. I thought it was never. Are you like local councillors or something? And you've just gone, shit, we've got the meeting, but at the same time, we've got to see Ross. How are we going to do that? I've got a brilliant idea, right? As you rock forward and backwards with laughter, shout the important business of council. <laughs> <laughs> the pothole. The, um... <laughs> I say we issue a warning to people with kilns. <laughs> the, uh... oh, hi, hi. Somebody just got that over there. <laughs> the, uh, so how do you lot know each other then? You group of friends. Oh, oh, oh. oh your neighbours. Oh, I say, oh, love. Wow, look at you. And did you all come? What was that? Somebody behind you went. <laughs> the hell? Did you bring a bag of salamanders? <laughs> to confuse Ross, to stop them talking to us, open that bag of decoy salamanders. <laughs> There's a salamander. Oh, run, run, run away. <laughs> Not a very effective running mechanism, is it? Surely you want to take big st Oh, now those two women have broken into conversation. Are you there just going, he's accused me of being a salamander. <laughs> I've never been so offensive. Offensive. It's, it's not even a word. I know. <laughs> That's how offensive I am. <laughs> I'm so offended that I actually couldn't even use the word. So I thought I'd use the word offensive. <laughs> they, uh, they, are you all right? What were you two chatting about? Go on, it's all right, you two back there. No, go on, it's all right. Oh, you just wanted some water. Who was he? Surely salamanders don't need water. <laughs> you fool to yourself, you want flies and dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if there was a wildlife expert in you know, what a brilliant salamander Ross just stood there. <laughs> It's like a disco salamander. <laughs> anyway, the, um, so did you, did you all book together? Or you can imagine the irony of that if you booked and then you were right next to each other. And what you should have done is you should have booked together but then brought a little piece of fence like that. <laughs> and then just have it there and just lean on the... Uh... I'm enjoying it a lot, are you? I, I am, yes. Any chance of getting my lawnmower back? <laughs> yeah. It's lovely to come out of an evening into this cloth warehouse <laughs> of ambivalence. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. The, uh, that's the first time the words cloth warehouse have ever received a round of applause. <laughs> oh, yes, the cloth warehouse, sir. <laughs> I do like it. The, uh, oh, see, and where are you from here? Are you, are you, are you, are you what? Just up the road, oh, quite literally. So good to see you make the effort and that. It's on again, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't even pay for this thing, is it? It's probably a, a right of way <laughs> for the locals. We just wandered through and fuck it, we'll sit here. <laughs> This is back in January, shivering your arse off. Uh, oh, it's bloody freezing, trust me, it'll be worth it. <laughs> At the minute, it's just a shepherd and a few sheep and that. But you trust me, soon they will build a mighty pavilion of... <laughs> Look at that. He's bloody got another one. He hasn't. <laughs> the, um... You're all shivering like that. Can't, can't we be in our houses? No, just wait. Just wait and soon the arts will be brought to our very laps. <laughs> the, uh, I'm freezing. I've got a scarf. <laughs> it's not effective. His ship on. <laughs> the, uh, so why did you think it was... Uh, sorry, what was your name there? Yes. Yes. What was your name? Yes. <laughs> Oh, Des! Sorry! <laughs> oh, piss off! Sorry, I thought you were just going, yes! Yes! Hang on, wasn't that the Midland Bank, the bank that likes to say yes? You can't help yourself, you're banking obsessed! Yes! Yes! Am I going to look down and discover you've dug a trench and you're actually sitting on a black horse? <laughs> The, uh, you're not going to want to create 
things you are not going to say. I'm going to communicate with telekinesis. That could be a bit shit, because I don't have special powers. Could be a bit of a long night, as, as you just stare, pointing. Have you got it yet, Ross? Oh, I'm doing the best. Oh, shit. Uh, do you make bamboo furniture? No, guess again. Oh, shit. I don't know. Do you put lilos in cupboards? <laughs> it's not a job for a grown man. Do you uh, put lilos in cupboards? <laughs> As you can tell, I've never had a proper job, can't you? I was trying to think, what do people do for a living? <laughs> Put lilos in cupboards! Imagine if I got a job as a, as a careers teacher. Just, aren't you meant to read it off the list? Shut your face, you! I'm just going to make up a job that you might like. How do you feel about cupboards? I don't mind them. What, you think I should be a cabinet maker? No, I don't! I think you should put inflatable seaside apparatus in the back of a wardrobe. Is there much call for? I don't know! I'm new to the job! I'm thinking on my feet! Put a lilo in a cupboard, see if anyone pays for you. That's more likely to piss people off, you know? I mean, I mean, fair enough if you were a cupboard demonstrator, you know, down at Ikea and stuff. Is this a good cupboard? Oh, is it a good one? It's the best cupboard we sell. You can put clothes in it, but not just that. <laughs> Raymond, bring out the lilos. <laughs> Why are they heavy? I don't know. I don't know. Traditionally, they're quite a light item. <laughs> but these ones appear to be quite heavy. I fill them full of water to... to... OK, now... The... Quickly, Raymond. This... <laughs> Raymond! I don't know. I decided I'd give myself an assistant. <laughs> I'm not carrying the lilos myself. They're full of water. With my back, it's a bloody nightmare. Come on, Raymond. Put the first lilo in that cupboard. Isn't it it's your job? Shut your fist! <laughs> there you go, there's one Lilo in the cupboard, full of water. Another one, Raymond, show the man, show the man. Do you do this all the time? Yes, I do, I demonstrate cupboards for people. Just, ooh, that'd piss off Aslan, wouldn't it? <laughs> ooh, imagine! There he is! Yeah, they had to take that out of the original book, C.S. Lewis, right? <laughs> I love the fact that I've said C.S. Lewis. This is probably one of the few gigs where everyone goes, yes, it was, yes, it was. <laughs> C.S. Lewis, you say that at some gigs, people will be like, oh, isn't that a department store? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get those so confused. I'm just going to go and buy some cutlery down at C.S. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the cutlery? No, but I did get ripper cheap. <laughs> I made that a bit specific there, didn't I? I should have gone Mr. Tumnus. You would have all... Yeah, they're going, yes, we do know the Tumnus. <laughs> don't think Reaper Cheap was in the... He wasn't in the line of the witch in the wardrobe, was he? I think he was in Voyager... The... Was it Voyager the Dawn Treader he was in? <laughs> oh, it's turned into a quiz! <laughs> Look at that! It's turned into a literary quiz! There's, there's, there's people that have been doing readings earlier in the day at the back. I know it! I know it! <laughs> could win a conceptual deck chair. <laughs> Please, I know the answer. I know the answer. He was in. <laughs> I know it, I know it. Well, save that knowledge and go down to Barclays. <laughs> Get in there. Take that knowledge and go forward. <laughs> if you take that knowledge, you could get £7.25. <laughs> That's an unusual figure. <laughs> yes. 14.50 for two C.S. Lewis, Lewis facts. Anyway, do you want this wardrobe or not? <laughs> no, this shop's odd. I'm leaving. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit, my boss is coming. Did you sell that wardrobe? <laughs> no, you're fired. <laughs> but it's all I can do. <laughs> Putting Lilo's in cupboards. <laughs> so, no, what do you do? <laughs> Sorry, I, I got... I, I got sidetracked myself. 
the, the, yeah, this is all I can do. Right? No, the thing is, right, I know I talk a lot of bollocks, right? It's kind of, I've turned it to my advantage, right? But I, what you need to know, right, is I've got a human baby child, right? I've got a, I do. I do have one of the girl types, right? There's two sorts. And, uh, Oh, yeah, I've done my research, right? And um, so I love the fact that you just touched your stomach at that point there. Are you, are you, how far? Shut you up! Shut up! Whoever that was down there that just went, oh, no. <laughs> she might be a fat woman. I know what you were thinking. I know exactly what you were thinking. We've all me diving into the hole and continuing to dig. That was brilliant. <laughs> Don't ask her. She might be a fat woman. A lot of pressure on me now, isn't there? <laughs> you got six weeks to go. Yes! I sing all the time now because of the human baby child, right? I do this thing, right, where I just sing to her all the time. Does it because she seems to be happy? She's happy if you just and it, but not proper songs, just whatever's in my head. I'm going now to get your nappy, and I'm gonna get it off the shelf and put it on your bum, and it's covered in shit. I'm gonna wipe your bum. Oh yeah, she lies. The problem is. I've started doing it when she's not there. <laughs> I'll be in a petrol station. Daddy's gonna go to the petrol pump now. I'm gonna get crisps, yeah. And maybe he's Kit Kat, oh yeah. I'm gonna have, I'd like a Kit Kat and some crisps, please. Oh yeah, I'd like a vaccine if that's possible. Oh yeah. I don't have my child. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'd like to stay for the record that I'm not actually mentally ill. <laughs> Just spent all day long singing to a child who makes her happy, and now we can't stop doing it all the time. Do you have any of the chunky ones? Says I just like one that's got a bit more body to it rather than the form. I'll maybe just get two and put them together. That'd be quite nice. Yeah. Oh, no, not on the same seat. That's fine. Maybe it's a bag. Could I have a bag, please? Yeah, that'd be nice. Excellent. Sorry, man. I'm just getting a kick out. Right. Got to get back in my car. I'm singing this because I thought my child, but I don't have a child. So I just thought that now, now I've committed to it, I just keep doing it. And that way people won't think ill. God bless you, man. I was singing and I couldn't stop. <laughs> I nearly went, I can't stop doing it now. Uh, but one bloke just went, I think Ross needs a way out of this. <laughs> no, we're so sorry, we're, um, how, how long? <laughs> Six weeks to go. Excellent, you all, you all. What was that? Somebody go, oh. <laughs> oh. Is that somebody else that has a small child? <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, hairy, wookie child. I'm not saying I'm there, child. Sorry, I'm not. Oh dear, dear, dear me. I'm just not giving birth to a wookie. Oh dear, the, the midwife would walk in like that. You were meant to have shaved. I did. <laughs> giving birth to a human. Wookie, human, wookie child. Oh, no, I thought the music would stop there, but just that, I thought, oh, and then... Dum, 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 dum. Who is who is on out of interest? Do you know? <coughs> oh, for God's sake, listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> is this some sort of bronchitis society? I'm 
hand and a storm of solidarity for Ross and his chest infection. <laughs> like some sort of bronchial vampire. I'll drink your blood once this phlegm clears. No, go on, sorry, mate. what do you do for you? A farmer? You're not a farmer. You lying bastard! You lying bastard. Look at you, for God's sake. You're wearing a blazer. jeans and a blazer on and a, and a lovely shirt as well. Like Jeremy Clarkson's stunt double, if you don't mind me saying. A far you're a farmer? No, look, she's sat next to him. Even his neighbour's grassing him up. <laughs> he's not a farmer. If he is, he's using our garden. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I was trying to sunbathe the other day without their ploughing. If you're gonna, I love the fact that you've had so many tangent and off has given you so much time to think of a false job. <laughs> what would have been brilliant if you panicked but uh, I put Lilo's in wardrobe. No, 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 that's not a job. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Jesus, friend, he's not. The, uh, oh, mask is back. The, um, no, what, what do you really do? Don't be shy about it, don't be, you know, go on, what do you really do? Insurance! <laughs> and see this man. What? <laughs> He's lying again! Is he farming insurance by any chance? <laughs> no! Show your face! It's farming insurance! Oh God! I'm fiddling again as if I'm rabbit. You do farming insurance! Oh, I see. Good Lord. So what sort of thing? Is it tractors? That sort of thing? Or in case one of your chickens gets a limp? <laughs> Yeah. I want the rooster fully comp. <laughs> um, the chickens, the chickens, I'll just show them third party. There's a, there's a lot of foxes around, to be honest with you. And, uh, well, we could try not insuring them at all, and then we could go for a, you know, no win, no fee farmyard lawyer. <laughs> Are you a chicken? Have you been injured in the farmyard <laughs> Claim, claim between one and three sacks of grain. <laughs> the, uh, why are you doing farming insurance? Oh, I see. So what sort of things? Just barns? Hedges? Hedges? Probably not hedges. <laughs> Can I insure me hedge, please? <laughs> yes. Will you be using the hedge for stunt work? <laughs> no, I've given up my days as a hedge stunt man. <laughs> the, um, have you checked the hedges for sleeping? Vagrants. <laughs> no, I can't assure you. No. So what's the most common claim that people make on a on a farmyard? I bet it's I bet it's John Craven trampling the crops, is it? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Country Fire. You're throwing me fear, John! <laughs> Sorry, John, we're gonna have to take that again, right? I'll do it again. <laughs> Stamping on chickens, right left and centre. <laughs> rolling around. It's not that chicken's neck. I don't care! I'm John Craven. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit aggressive. John Craven sometimes. Why don't we come to fire? Yeah, John Craven's a badass gangster farmer. <laughs> you probably don't get many gangster farmers, do you? Doing a drive-by on a tractor take hours. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a claim on a combine harvester? And you went, it's a write off, you can have a brand new one. <laughs> you see? Oh, shut your faces, a lot of you. You tried doing an up to date farming insurance gag, <laughs> incorporating the work of the Wurzels! 
that would have been the perfect moment, right? That would have been the perfect end to the show if I had just gone. And ladies and gentlemen, they're here tonight to place out the razors! And they all came in waving insurance claim forms. Hey, we got a brand new car, my love. I'll give you a look at that. <laughs> you can tell we're in a rural area. One or two people started jumping. <laughs> Oh, this is the best night out ever! <laughs> Ross comes on, talks of her bollocks, and the next thing you know, we have a farming signal on! <laughs> oh, I got a new camera now. Do it, do it, man! Of course, that would be great, because I don't know who that band was, but I love the idea that they're like some cool, funky band, and like all night we're just like, <laughs> And then they're on stage. This next song, ladies and gentlemen. What's that in the distance? <laughs> A thousand people. Oh, you got a man, you come in. And I'll give you the key. Come on, everyone, let's go and dance. Oh, you got 48 years and you got 33. Come on, everyone, get naked. Oh, you got a man, you come in. <laughs> oh, what was that? You get to shout, hit the floor, incoming penguins! <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, all the time we get, <laughs> Yeah, that's how, that's how devious, that's how devious these insurgents have got now. Yeah, they're putting penguins in a desert environment. <laughs> Look at you lot. What? <laughs> i tell you what, I, I recently took a trip to Afghanistan, right? <laughs> How shit's your travel agent? <laughs> no, obviously I went to entertain the troops, right? They're, oh yeah, they love a laugh, the Taliban. <laughs> and then everything. They do. They love it. They, they, I can tell they're enjoying it, the beards go up. But, uh, Ross, you're the best. Ross, you're... Oh, death to the West. OK. <laughs> no, I, it's mad, right? It's such an incredible, like, amazing thing, right? To, to, I don't know if you've ever been to a military base, but it's like... It's, uh, it's just like a massive town, but everyone's got guns and they're ready to kill you, you know? It's a bit like Middlesbrough. I don't know if you've ever... <laughs> That's what I think. I went over there, right? And, and this, something happened to me while I was there, right? This experience where I think you find out what sort of person you are when you get in an unusual environment, right? Because I saw all this incredible stuff, right? Like, um, like, you know what it is, right? Sometimes they forget how dangerous the situation they're in, right? One bloke I was talking to, how mad is this, right? We stood there and two Black Hawk helicopters came over the top. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, right, this bloke turned to me and he just went, it's incredible, isn't it? It's like something out of a war film. <laughs> no! It's like something out of a war! We're in one! See them Taliban's? They're not paid extras. <laughs> and cut and reset the Taliban. <laughs> and no, no, I swear to God, this is true. A bomb disposal officer, bomb disposal officer, turned to me and he just went, bloody hell, Ross, eh? Stand-up comedy, eh? Ooh, that must be the hardest job in the world. <laughs> no! You bomb disposal officer! We're not swapping. We are not swapping. <laughs> another bloke, right? I swear, this is another bloke. Right? We're talking about motorbikes, right? Fifteen minutes we talked about motorbikes. How much he loved motorbikes. And, and I said, oh, I said, oh, what do you ride? I swear to God, this is what he went, he went, oh, no. I haven't got a bike, no. My wife won't let me have one. They're too dangerous. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to scratch my legs. <laughs> oh, I'll quickly tell you this, right? Well, while we were there, right, it was me and a mate of mine, right? And there was an attack dog, right? You know those Alsatian... It's, oh, God, I've never laughed at this. I, I think I might be inherently evil, right? There was... <laughs> 
they said, they went, who wants to get in the suit and get attacked by this dog, right? I thought, Phew, I'm not going to miss an opportunity like this. So I pushed my mate forward, right? I said, this will be funny, right? And while he was getting the suit on and everything, right, I was trying to look, I mean, is this dog quite an effective one? Went, effective? It's one of our best dogs, right? I've got the tears down my face, right? He went, this one has got one confirmed kill. I love that, confirmed. Like, only one's been confirmed. Like, it goes off on its own time. I'll be back by morning, lads. Oh, yeah, I'll have a few, but don't put them on the list. Right? Just a hobby, right? So my mate's getting all the gear on, right? And he's standing there, and I'm stood next to the sergeant major. Uh, uh, and we're watching, right? And I turn to my mate, right? And I just go, and, and, and he's saying, oh yeah, so the dog's gonna run and grab him by the arm and it'll take him down. And I turn to my mate and I go, oh, Bill, just, just do this to the dog to get it, get it revved up. <laughs> he wasn't looking, right? So my mate stands there, like, right? <laughs> and the dog goes from just like to, <sighs> Sergeant Major sees what happened, and he goes, <laughs> I think this is going to be good, right? And my mate, he goes, right, turn and run. And my mate turns, and he starts to run, like, he hadn't gone three feet, right? This dog went through the air. Like, <laughs> instead of grabbing him by the arm, like that, he got him by the back of the neck. <laughs> and, <"Whoa!" laughs> and the Sergeant Major, I swear he went, he's never done that before. <laughs> Being dragged by a flying dog. This <laughs> ah, right? the tears, right? Honestly, I was falling beside the platter, right? I thought this can't get any better. It did, right? <laughs> the, dog, the dog hit the floor, and my mate was quite big look. He landed, he fell on the dog. Right? I don't know if you've ever heard an Alsatian get winded, right? <laughs> this dog went, boom. <laughs> He's not going to like that. <laughs> and the dog, the dog is just shaking the shit out of my... <laughs> and it's lying on the floor, and all the blokes go, oh shit, we better do And the guy goes to step four, God forgive me for doing this, right? The bloke went to step to call the dog off, I went, just leave it. <laughs> You stand there like that. And he went, was that fun? And he went, it was dribbling on me neck. <laughs> I've seen some of the women he's been out with, nothing new there. But anyway. <laughs> While I was there, this thing happened, right? And I think you find, God, God help us if they ever brought in national service, right? A rocket went off. Why were there a rocket? Were you know, one of those massive, like a quarter of a million quid to set off one of these rockets, right? It's like a once in a lifetime thing, but if you're in the Taliban, you fuck. Enormous quid. We were standing there, right, chatting to the Sergeant Major guy, and the, this rocket took off, right? It just. <laughs> like a rocket, like it, well, it would, it was. <laughs> what a brilliant description, Russ. A rocket that took off like a rocket. Does he do it? <laughs> See that rocket? It just took off like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, we've got another one that takes off like a disabled goat. <laughs> it's not quite as effective. What? <laughs> 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 oh, did you go there? You put rocket. Did you put it? On? It's maybe an R. R. Put it on. It was on DG. <laughs> but I'll rock it. To see it go. Never mind. You knew. Yeah. Wouldn't say the quartermaster. Put some rails on it. Oh, Sergeant Graham. That never happened. But the, the 
finish off, it went off, right? And it was, this involuntary thing happened to me, right? The rocket, I'm not that. He <laughs> shit his, he shit his pants. He shit his pants. It was worse than that. The rocket goes off. <laughs> right, 100 kilometers these things go for. Boom, shot off like that. Now in my head, I did this. I went, that certainly is a fine bit of military hardware. <laughs> They certainly are giving Johnny Foreigner a good lashing out here. <laughs> it's not exactly how it happened. I don't know why this happened. It's completely involuntary. I wasn't expecting this thing to go off. Standing there, middle of Afghanistan, think. <laughs> and I went, oh! to a rocket that would off ever, right? And I said to the sergeant major, I went, tell the name's response. He said, well, no. I said, it's the campus response. <laughs> he said, apparently, and this is a true story, right? This is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life, right? Apparently, a young lad, right? 18 years, and fair play to him, like young kids, and we're sending out there, like, getting shot at and all the rest. 18 year old kid, and God help us if he ever becomes a general, right? <laughs> the rocket went off, it went, <laughs> and this kid just stood there like that, looking at the trail, going, God help us if he ever becomes a, an officer. He just went, be able to do that. Said, You'd have to be mad to fly one of them for you. <laughs> I mean, 